Oh, I didn't see there. I was just recharging. So, you want to know about capacitors in DC? Well, first things first, what is a capacitor? A capacitor is essentially two conducting plates separated by a dielectric, or commonly known as an insulator. And when charged with opposing signs of charge, an electric field is present. So you're probably wondering, how is it possible to create an electric field with just two plates? Well, with this little sucker. So when a capacitor is put in series with a battery connected, the electrons are stripped from the green plate on top and carried to the positive side of the battery terminal. This creates a positive charge on the top plate and electrons pass from the negative terminal to the bottom plate. And over time, this stripping depositing of electrons between the two plates charge the capacitor. The time constant allows us to calculate the time required to charge the capacitor through the resistor from an initial charge of 0 to 63.2% of the applied DC voltage. So there are approximately five time constants the capacitor is fully charged at 97%. And when the capacitor is fully charged, it has reached its steady state, where the current is zero and the voltage is at its maximum, less than or greater than 1.5 volts. Won't focus my life. The time constant is calculated simply by the product of the resistance and the capacitance in a circuit. Now the capacitance is calculated by the area of the plates, S1 times S2, over the distance between them, D, multiplied by the permittivity of air, E0, and the permittivity of the insulator, ER. Can you see? See now? So essentially, the greater the area of the plates, and the closer they are together, the greater the capacitance. And the greater the capacitance, the more time it takes to fully charge. Now, I like to think of myself as a capacitor. The bigger I get, or the closer I get to the gym, the greater my capacity to get stronger. 99. Oh, 100. Now let's talk about capacitance in series in parallel circuits. In series, the total capacitance is calculated the same way resistance is calculated in parallel circuits. Using the following equation, 1 over CT, C total, capacitance total equals 1 over capacitor 1, 1 over capacitor 2, and so on. Same thing applies with parallel circuits. The total resistance is the sum of the capacitors. But in all seriousness, here are some equations that are used to determine the voltage and the current through the capacitor at any given time. The charging and discharging of capacitors are very similar, where the charging is 1 minus E and the discharging is E. And likewise with the current. Charging is positive E over R, where discharging is negative E over R. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for listening. Time to go to the gym.